We're back now with a GMA safety alert with Thanksgiving being the peak day for home cooking fires. We'll revisit Matt Gutman's demonstration in the flames of a house fire, showing us how to get out of danger. With cooking fires peaking around the holidays, experts warn, do not try to fight a fire yourself. Get out and then call 911. Here at the Delaware County Emergency Training Center, Underwriters Laboratories built us this model home. And under the supervision of the Philadelphia Fire Department, we're going to light it up to teach you how to get your family out safely. Everything in this room is synthetic. That means that it's made out of oil. The sofas, the carpet, all of that burns. Now, 30, 40 years ago, everything here might have been naturally made. Now, it is going to be much more flammable. Back in the day, you had about 17 minutes to get out of a house. Now you have only three minutes, which is why it's so important to get out fast. Working smoke alarms are critical to giving you those precious moments. Don't worry about the pictures on the walls. Don't worry about your keys or your wallet. Get out of the house, then call 911. The room quickly erupts. It's cooking right through that couch. We're going to move back. And with the safety of my respirator, I stay inside to demonstrate just how dangerous it can be if you wait too long to leave. 400 degrees and the air is obviously unbreathable. Just a few breaths without a mask would knock me unconscious. That's why in a situation like this, you're going to want to stay low and go. The lower you are, the cooler it is and the cleaner the air is. So I'm going to be walking out of here on my knees. I make my way outside and enter back in through a door specifically designed for this demonstration. All to show you how sleeping with your bedroom door closed could give you potentially life-saving minutes if a fire breaks out in the middle of the night. Now, the majority of deaths in house fires occur in the middle of the night. You might be sleeping, you wake up, you notice something is wrong. First thing to do, touch the door. Is it hot? Is the handle hot? If it is, do not, do not open this door. Keep it closed. It's your fire shield. It's gonna keep you safe. Outside this door, it's a thousand degrees. Don't open that door. If you're trapped, call 911. They're about to put this fire out. Once the fire's out, our expert Steve Kerber shows us why it's so important to close before you doze. This bedroom had the door left open. We got soot all over the ceiling, the pictures are melted. And our room with the door closed. Wow, you can see how it buckled outwards, yep, right? Absolutely. And you can see here the, the big difference between burned up in the hallway, pristine in the bedroom. Incredible. One survivable, the other experts say may not be. For Good Morning America, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.